Hey, my name is Gala. I am a Looker Studio Specialist. And today I would like to talk a bit about blended data sources. And I would like to show you a really nice life hack about that. For example, I use Google Analytics demo data source. And I have simple chart, time series chart with data and where I have users as a metric. Here I have all users, I don't have any filters. And maybe I would like to change it to the bar chart. Okay. And uh, what do I look, want to change? Sorting. Okay. Ah, uh, interesting. Actually, it's... Ah, okay, I got it. Why do I have this? Mm, I have styles. I would like to change to 31. Yeah, nice. So I have one chart uh, with uh, users by day for all data sources. Then I created two similar charts. I will rename all users. Uh, users to all users. Uh, then I created the same chart and I use the same dimension, the same metric, uh, but I added a filter, page search. How does it look like? My filter called filter name, I include only traffic uh, where default channel grouping is page search. If you work with GA4, it will be session default channel grouping. Oh, okay, anyway, page search. Uh, I would like to rename this field to page users. And then I have a third chart, exactly the same, date, metrics, and uh, by another filter, G display. Include traffic where default channel grouping is display. And I will rename users to display users. And I would like to show all this data in one chart. And actually, it's uh, when you use filter, it's impossible to do. So for that, I would like to use blended data. And here, a super fast way to do it. I can select all three charts, click right mouse button, and click to, where is it? Blend data. When I do this, Google Data Studio, oh, Looker Studio, sorry, created a uh, data source automatically with all data from all my um, charts. I will change chart type to bar charts. Uh, okay, styles, I want 30 elements. And uh, metric here, look here, what do I have? Metric, all users, page users, and display users. The same names of metrics that I created before. And uh, yeah, so like that, we have them on on the same chart, and we can compare. We can compare paid users with all users, or we can compare two types of users in one chart, um, like that. I think it's super easy and uh, easy to use, and I re really recommend you to use this option, to use this life hack. Tell me if you like it. And see you soon.